So this programme is split into three distinct phases. Discover, investigate and take action. The discover phase begins with the teacher tuning in to students' existing knowledge, thoughts and feelings about bushfire. What they've seen, who they've talked to about bushfire. Also the emotional aspects of bushfire, something that they're worried about. And what that does is it really gives the teacher an opportunity to make sure that they have understanding of where the students are at because we know one thing from the research and that's that we need to start where the students are at. We then move into fire ecology where we look at millions of years of plant and animal adaptation to fire and how fire is a natural part of the landscape in Australia. And a really important part of the landscape so the students learn that the landscape actually needs fire to survive and thrive. Just to show the students that uh, fire is something that we need to live with. We move from there to Aboriginal cultural burning, where we see how Aboriginal people have managed the land for tens of thousands of years and used fire as a tool. How it's an expression of culture, how it helps the environment, how in fact we work with it and it's not something to be afraid of. Then the students learn about bushfire science, so how fires start, how they spread and move through the landscape. And they learn how bushfires behave according to different factors such as weather, topography and fuel. And that gives them a really strong knowledge to be able to then start thinking about how bushfires interact with communities that are located in high bushfire risk areas. And lastly, students learn about bushfire risk. So how to determine whether a person or an asset in the community is at risk of fire and what sort of things you can do to mitigate those risks. They look at levels of exposure, they look at vulnerability, and then we get them thinking about capacities. So what capacities exist in their community? What capacities do they have to be able to take action to reduce bushfire risk and prevent those impacts of bushfire hazards? With the temperatures on earth getting hotter, the risks of bushfires are increasing, but also this school is situated in a BMO, which stands for Bushfire Management Overlay. And if a bushfire starts in this area, it will be terrible because it's like lots, yeah. it's very bushy here, all the trees and shrubs. Yeah. Do you feel safer as a result of all the things we've been learning this year? Yeah, yes. definitely. So once the students have had the opportunity to develop their understanding of bushfire and bushfire risks through that discover phase, they begin that investigate phase. 